Hey guys, it's Deanna from Far From Homesteading, and today I want to share 10 tips to help you survive the record high prices this Thanksgiving. Number one, prepare your meal yourself. And I know that sounds really crazy, but I know people who don't cook their Thanksgiving dinner and they just pay someone to do it. So if inflation is something that is affecting your family, if you're having a hard time paying for Thanksgiving because of prices, then maybe you should consider cooking dinner yourself. That's just one easy way that you can save a ton of money this Thanksgiving. Number two is have a potluck dinner. If you are inviting a lot of people over or even just a few, splitting up the work and the cost just makes perfect sense. And not only that, but potluck dinners can be a ton of fun to organize. And then, I mean, you can try things from everybody. It's, it's just, it, there's a lot more variety and it's just, it adds a little bit of flair and fun to Thanksgiving. I love that idea. Number three, only buy what you need from the grocery store. I know that it is so hard during the holidays not to spend a little extra money on things that they market to you for the holiday time. Like all that pumpkin spice stuff, I'll admit, I'm not all about the pumpkin spice, but I do enjoy it. It's, it's super easy to go out and spend money that you weren't expecting to spend, which is why this made number three on my list. Number four, start shopping early. I know that it's just the week before Thanksgiving and this video isn't giving you a ton of time, but one of the best things you can do to save money is to, to shop early. A few weeks ago, there were turkeys for $1.36 at the grocery store in town, and now they are $2.56 a per pound for the same turkeys. And all of them are huge. They have no small turkeys. So it's not like you can just buy a small turkey and maybe not spend that much money. The cheapest turkey I saw at the grocery store was $47. So, and that was the smallest turkey um, in the store. I talked to my friend the other day and she said that turkeys were still, you know, $1.30, $1.40 a pound where she lives but that you can't find any. Um, that's not really the case here. We have turkeys, they just are huge and super expensive, so people aren't buying them. And then where she lives, they're not super expensive, but there's no turkeys. So I think in both of those instances, no matter if you live where I live or she lives, buying early would be beneficial. Number five, use coupons and shop sales. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. You can watch your local um, grocery stores and try to find the best deals and that will save you money. Number six, buy the right size. You can plan for Thanksgiving and know exactly how big your turkey needs to be if you know how many people are coming to your dinner. You just have to say, okay, each person is gonna eat one and a half pounds of turkey and that will give them a hearty size portion during Thanksgiving dinner and leftovers. So if you add up a pound and a half for every guest, and then, you know, add a half a pound on there if it, if it makes you feel comfortable for extra leftovers or whatever, and then buy that size turkey. Don't buy more than you need because, well, turkey is super expensive and a lot of us eat turkey for a few days, get tired of it, and just end up throwing it out anyways. And it goes to waste. It's so sad. So buy the right size. All right, guys? Number seven goes with number six, actually, and that is part your turkey out. If you only have a few people in your family, you don't need a gigantic turkey. Maybe you could buy a turkey breast or buy a couple turkey legs and that would be sufficient for your needs, for your family, and you could still have leftovers. Don't fall into the trap of just because it's Thanksgiving, you have to have an entire turkey. Uh, a turkey leg is good. I, I, I prefer the breast, but you know, Brandon loves a turkey leg, so he would be perfectly happy with a couple turkey legs for Thanksgiving. So keep that in mind. You don't have to buy the whole thing. You can part it out and that might be what's best for your family. Number eight, now this is not something that my family does, but 
having lived in a few different places, I have noticed that people have different traditions than I do. And a pretty common tradition is Thanksgiving gifts. I understand giving the host a gift, but maybe this year make it something like wine or a dessert or something that they can use, or maybe even a centerpiece or flowers. Something that would be helpful to your host. That's what I like to do. What's new to me, and that is that hosts will give their guests gifts at Thanksgiving dinner. It blows my mind, I don't understand it, but um, there are ways that you can save money if you feel like you wanna give your guest a gift at Thanksgiving. These are my suggestions. Package up mini desserts like where they can take home their own mini desserts or you can get one of those uh, cute to-go boxes and let them pack up their own to-go desserts or turkey if they want to whatever they want or you can make personalized like placeholders that can double as ornaments or something festive for the holidays i think a good personal touch is always appreciated number nine decorate with natural or homemade items what am i going to do for thanksgiving i'm going to go out on the porch i'm going to get one of these little pumpkins from halloween that i still have out here on the porch i'm going to dust all the snow off of it and then i am going to put a couple candles around it and i'm gonna call it good and that's what's going to be the centerpiece for thanksgiving i'm not spending any money on it Whenever I get done, the pumpkin can go out to the goats and and the candles can go back in their little emergency candle box. I like the idea of using things from nature because you're not spending any money. And honestly, if you're spending $50 on a turkey, you don't want to spend any money on a nice centerpiece or decoration for your holiday. You just don't want to. Number 10, and this is absolutely my favorite, guys, and that is start a new tradition. It might be a tradition in your family to have the big turkey, the big $50 turkey, and the dressing and the gravy and the whatever sides that your family has and that you feel like you have to have. But maybe you don't have to have that. When you can't afford it, does it really make sense to stretch your family to a dangerous point just to have that Thanksgiving dinner that you think is necessary to have Thanksgiving. It's not. You could, instead of a Thanksgiving meal, you could make a taco bar. If you're having a party, that'd be a great idea. Like if you were having people over, instead of spending the money for the turkey and the dressing and the sweet potatoes and the, all the things that you, the rolls, I don't know, whatever it is that you cook for Thanksgiving, Beans and rice are super cheap. They're super filling. You could make a taco bar. The most expensive thing would be the meat. And it would be fun and festive. And who isn't thankful for tacos? And if you don't like tacos, if you're one of those weird people that don't like tacos, you could have a pasta bar. You could have something. It doesn't have to be turkey. Having a turkey on your Thanksgiving dinner table is not what Thanksgiving is about. You can change those traditions for just this year. I mean, if you think things are gonna go back to normal next year and you wanna have a Thanksgiving dinner, then do it. But no one's gonna get offended if you decide that you're not gonna spend that much money on a turkey because it's not what it's about. It's about spending time with the people you love and being thankful for the things that you have. Till next time, guys.